going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about Rise of the Tomb Raider, PlayStation 4, uh, supposedly being pushed back. The game, uh, there was rumor and speculation that the game had been delayed and uh, I found that found this true article out because I actually want to buy this game on my PlayStation 4. Uh, and I know there's a lot of people out there saying, why don't you get an Xbox One? Honestly, I want the better version of the game. More than likely it's going to be a little bit better on PS4. Most multi-plats are, and uh, I use my Xbox One primarily for exclusives like State of Decay, Halo, uh, Titanfall, or in the Blind Forest, games I can't get anywhere else. So with that being said, I'll drop a link in the description. Rise of the Tomb Raider, PlayStation 4 release date news update. Game will come to PlayStation 4 later this year. PlayStation console players need not be worried. Contrary to rumors, Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 release date is still on track and it will not be delayed. Quote, Rise of the Tomb Raider was released on Xbox One and Xbox 360 consoles in November of last year. Two months later, the game was launched on PC. Now only PlayStation 4 players are waiting for their version and they are already getting a bit impatient. Now here are the rumors. There were fears that the planned Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 release might be delayed or worse cancelled. This is because both its developer Crystal Dynamics and its publisher Square Enix seemed too silent about the scheduled game launch. And it didn't help that the game was conspicuously absent in the recent E3 event this year. The game's absence in the prestigious event got gamers speculating that perhaps the rumors could be true. The Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 release might be cancelled for good. But Crystal Dynamics guys has responded to the cancellation rumors. Thankfully, they want to correct the record. The company finally expressed its official position on the Rise of the Tomb Raider rumored cancellation. In the Square Enix forum, somebody finally asked the question, quote, has the Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 version been cancelled, end quote. And the company's response was equally direct. Its answer was, quote, As stated previously, Rise of the Tomb Raider PlayStation 4 release date is set for holiday 2016, end quote. While not exactly specific, at least Rise of the Tomb Raider fans are assured that the game would indeed be released this year. Based around the holiday 2016 clause, according to GameRex, speculations place the Rise of the Tomb Raider PS4 release date to be from mid to late November of this year. I'm excited for this. Uh, well, I'm more excited for the possibilities, uh, or at least revelations of what may be included. Uh, if there are any additions, if there are any uh, graphical uh, upgrades or upticks, any uh, increases of frame rate. Uh, if the Xbox One version is still the definitive version after this, then I will probably get it on Xbox One. It's a game that I've always wanted. I, you know, I'm a big fan of the original. Uh, and I wanted it initially on the Xbox One, but at that time I just didn't buy any games. I had so many games on backlog. Uh, but I can't bring myself to buy it right now without at least knowing. I have to know if the Xbox One version is better or the PlayStation 4 version is better. And I'm going to go with, with whichever one that is at that time. You guys let me know if you're interested in playing Rise of the Tomb Raider when it comes to PlayStation 4, or are you just happy with the Xbox One version? Do you think I'm crazy for waiting, or do you think I have a legitimate reason to actually wait for this? Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.